hate. I hope y'all can see. All right, so as you guys can see by the title, this is going to be a message for the men. I'm quite sure there are going to be women who are going to watch this. Men, women, if you watch this video, just make um, sure you're sending it to someone who you intuitively feel like could, you know, benefit from hearing, you know, some messages in this video. So, uh, there may be some things, may uh, be some things that I'm going to say that may trigger you. They may make you feel some type of way. They may make you feel anger or some type of negative emotion towards me. And that's okay. That's very, very normal. It's okay. I, don't, I ain't gonna take it personal. As long as you don't come disrespectfully at me, we, we not good. All right. So, men, <clears throat> when it comes to it, I just specifically want to talk about relationships with women. Like, if you are a heterosexual man, and um, you know you have dated women, been in relationships, marriages, um, commitments whatever it is whatever however you look at it some of y'all ain't never really been in a relationship some of you guys just physically have partaken in um situations and you know you need this message even more so y'all when it comes to um first of all when it comes to men and women right the first people that we love in terms of the opposite sex are our parents right so that's why a lot of women, um, they look up and they idolize their fathers. Sons idolize their mothers. Their mothers can't do no wrong. I have known situations, family members, people I've dealt with who have, um, in, a, in, a, in a way, looked at their mothers like their mothers couldn't do any wrong. Like their mothers didn't do any wrong. They were just, you know, perfect in their eyes in some way. Um, that's because, you know, it's just the way sons look up to their mothers. The, 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 the one, that mother is the first woman that that man is going to love. Okay, period. So, it, it behooves a woman, because I'm the mother of a son now, of course he's young, but it behooves a woman, once she knows, because you can't go back in the past, right, to completely immerse herself in the energy of self-love. Because as men and you correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section down below you guys um are going to notice everything about your mothers you're going to notice her her good things the bad things you don't have to speak them out um her quirks the things that make her tick just the way that she deals with men the way men deal with her you're going to notice all of that stuff so it behooves a woman to hold herself in the highest energy of respect for herself and if you respect yourself you're going to respect people on the outside of you. Um, there could be situations where certain men, um, like if you grew up in a situation where you were raised by a father figure, stepfather, whatever, right? Your blood father, it doesn't matter. And your mother, due to whatever was going on in her internally, she disrespected and disregarded and emasculated your father, right? That's going to make you be in an energy where you're not going to fully respect women there's going to be some you may like women you may really 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 like women but you're not going to fully respect them if you see your mother disrespect or disregarding herself in any way on any level even if she's not in a relationship in a marriage or whatever that's going to make you internalize that you're in other words you're going to hold that inside of you unconsciously and you're going to project that into all your relationships so in essence what you're going to be doing is the way that that energy and that pain is sitting inside with you when it comes to your mother you're going to be treating these women as if they were your mother i don't know if that makes i hope that's gonna make sense y'all that's basically what's happening right i encourage everybody to do healing because it's so important to level up in life when you're able to purge and surge away everything that is inside of you that does not resonate. A lot of us have mommy issues, daddy issues, and both. I had mommy and daddy issues. There were some things with both of my parents, right? So there was a lot of things I had to go within, and I still have to go within and do some stuff here and there, you guys, keeping it all the way funky with you, right? Go we're back to the men, right? So some of you guys, I have done readings for men. I have done coaching sessions with, with men. 
and I know that a lot of you guys want more so than not to be in a loving relationship and a loving um you know just be in a companionship just to express healthy intimacy um to have a healthy sex life because a lot of you guys have objectified yourself or either objectified women or both some of you guys have objectified yourself women both both ways okay based on that damaged stuff inside of you because your mother in essence is supposed to be perfect and that goes for girls as well like young girls we look as we look to our mothers as perfection i you know my children you know and it's just natural that they're going to feel more comfortable coming to me than their dad you know even when me and their dad was together they were comfortable coming to me and asking me things and talking to me they, 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 they not that they didn't go to their dad they just were more comfortable with me being their mom and that's what it is for all of us so when you have an expectation as children i'm talking about boys and girls when we're young we have expectations when it comes to our mothers and when they don't meet that it chips down a little bit a little bit a little bit in our self-esteem and our self-confidence and even the self-love that's residing in us because we all have those things early on in life but our circumstances and the things that we go through chip that energy away right so when we're in this energy oh shoot when we're in this energy of expecting our mothers to ride for us expecting our mothers to whatever all of us have different types of expectations or had different types of expectations when it comes to our mothers and when they don't meet i'm telling you that damages and more so not damages a, a man's ego or self all that stuff because women are natural healers so women can go in and tend to ourselves you know men internalize things at a deeper deeper level than women very deep um and I, I mean obviously i'm not a man but i've dealt with men i was married to a man <laughs> i grew up under a man i my grandfather so i'm just saying i mean i didn't know the deepness of stuff like this but being very it taught me a lot of stuff i'm sorry my nose uh, taught me a lot of stuff you know when it comes to the dynamic between um um a son and a, and, and a mother right also i have two brothers and based on um the things that my mother dealt with and the uh behavior that she exhibited and um that i, I recognized and i saw um has everything to do with both of my brothers and i saw pain in both of them and how they were um a certain way let's just say that you know i'm not putting nobody's business out here but they were a certain way with women you know based on um the unhealthiness of my mother you know and when you don't know you don't know that's why when you when you know you know you do better when you know better you do better but if you don't know better you just do you do and that's how a lot of old school people they moved they just did they did what they saw their predecessors do what they saw their parents do they saw their grandmothers do they saw their aunts and uncles do that's what they did as opposed to now that we're in this age of Aquarius where you know even before that it actually hit prior to that we were paving the way to doing things our way if you think about it like a lot of us like say you know what it's not even about anger it's not about pain it's just that I don't want to do things the way my parents did I, I, I give you know for instance for me speaking your mind being open emotional whatever it wasn't encouraged in my life as a child period I couldn't I didn't need to have a voice I didn't need to express emotions none of that stuff was encouraged by my parents ex and so now I am with well, me being in a state of consciousness I allow that for my children I have an inner and understanding when it comes to my daughter even when she was younger you know things were different but now that I know I you have the right to feel however you want to feel nobody can stop you from feeling because a lot of uh, let me just say this too for the men a lot of you guys don't have the balance of emotional intelligence and that's no shade because you were stopped from expressing your emotion bam you was palted if you wanted to express yourself if you wanted to cry if you wanted to tell somebody how you felt you were unable to do that because you're a boy don't cry don't be this don't be this, be, 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 be. how are you feeling that all that weird shit you know what i'm saying you weren't able to be who you truly were based on that 
toxic masculinity agenda out there that's been around forever. I'm not going to say it doesn't necessarily have to say it's an agenda, but it's definitely an energy out there of toxic masculinity. Where a boy, a man, a, a masculine, whatever, I, you know, can't express themselves emotionally. When my son has to cry, cry. You ain't less of a boy. You're still, you still, you're still going to be a masculine. You're still going to be a man. You're still going to be an emperor. I speak life into that boy. He's still going to be a god. So regardless, you have to, you have to have that balance because everybody has divine masculine and divine feminine energy within us. It's about a balancing it and balancing comes with healing and purging and also a level of forgiveness of ourselves and an inner and understanding that our parents our loved ones the people who reared and raised us they didn't know and let's just say they did know what you gonna do about it now you know i tell my daughters nothing you can do unfortunately we can't do nothing about the past all we can do is forge for it now but if you ever want to Men, if you have had a tr time, trouble, you know, getting to women or not being able to, you know, emotionally express yourself, you know, that's blocked energy in your chakras, baby. Guarantee, especially in your heart space. Men are going to hold pain in their heart, period, in their heart space. That's why a lot of you guys are very fluid and open sexually with people, but you're not expressing from a place of here. Here. A balance between here and here. You're balanced in here in your heart chakra. You're able to speak truth. You're able to speak life. You're able to tell people, I love you from an authentic place. You're able to like, you know, not. it's not about forgetting your parents. Don't let nobody tell you that. It's about healing yourself to the degree where you're able to say, you know what? I am a work in progress and I love myself and I'm going to push past all of this pain and all of this stuff that's inside of me that's not working because some of y'all got daughters. And if you if you don't do the necessary work now, babies, then your, your daughters are going to attract men that are very similar to you inside. And I know that, you know, no man wants their daughter to be in a situation where they're in pain or they're hurt or they, you know what I'm saying? They're just not in alignment with what they really truly deserve. You get what I'm saying? I hope this has been beneficial in some way, you guys. I'm really going to make it my business to talk more in detail to the men. I hope that I didn't go too many, like, in a circle. I feel like I'd be doing that when I'm talking to y'all, but whatever. I love you guys. Peace. Take care. If you're interested in a coaching session, you guys can always reach out to me. I love you guys.